Hey everyone, this is Brayden from the Meccano team, and I'm here to show you the basics of drag and drop programming. Drag and drop programming is an awesome way to create and customize programs of your very own. Think of it like coding, but with pictures instead of words. I want to briefly show you all the elements of drag and drop programming to get you on your way to creating your very own custom programs. So let's get right into it. Drag and drop programming is pretty simple. By dragging, and you guessed it, dropping a series of inputs and outputs, you can create your very own custom programs. All you need to do is drag elements from this bar on the right and drop them onto the workspace here. These little arrows are used to connect elements to one another. And if you ever want to delete something, just drag it down to the trash can at the bottom of the screen and poof, it's going to vanish into thin air. Inputs and outputs live over here on the right side of the screen on this bar. Inputs are orange and outputs are blue. There are a lot of different elements under both inputs and outputs, but I want to show you the input elements first. This is a servo input. With a servo input, you can use a mechanoid arm as a lever or a switch, so when you move it, something will happen. These are button inputs. With these, you can trigger an output by pressing a physical button directly on your mechanoid's mechabrain. This is another button input, but with a key difference. This button is digital and appears on your smart device, so you can trigger outputs by tapping directly on your phone or tablet. This is a timer. It's just like it sounds. Choose an amount of time to pass, and then an output will be triggered once the timer reaches zero. And this one is a counter. It's similar to a timer, but counts down certain actions instead of time. And finally, we have a clock input. This is like a timer, but for a specific time of day. Now this is really handy if you're creating a custom alarm for something like school or soccer practice. That about handles the inputs, so now let's check out all the outputs. Press the icon on the top right of the screen to switch over to the outputs. Remember, those are blue. The first element is an animation output. This triggers a custom animation that you can make either with LIM or with the animation builder on the Meccano app. This is a sound output. This one's probably my favorite. It lets you record your own custom sound clip and then trigger it. Just press the microphone button down here, record a short clip, name it, and save it. This is a light output. We have a few options with this one. The first option triggers Mechanoid's servo LEDs. The next option lets you trigger Mechanoid's eye LEDs. And the third option lets you trigger Mechanoid's mechabrain LEDs. I like using all of these outputs together to turn Mechanoid into a party machine. The next element is a servo output. This triggers a servo to move to a particular spot. You can get very precise by choosing not only the degree of movement, but also how quickly the servo should move. This is a motor output. Like the servo output from before, you can choose which motors move, for how long they move, and how fast they move. And the final output is a text output. Here, you can write a custom block of text and have it display on the screen of your smart device as a little surprise or something. Now, once you start playing around with all the different input and output elements, you'll be making some pretty rad custom programs. And like all great masterpieces, you're going to want to save them. So the folder button down here in the bottom right hand corner lets you save and load your custom program. Here, I'll save this program quickly just to show you. Just click save, give it a custom name and confirm. There's a lot of really cool stuff you can do with this drag and drop programming environment. You can create custom alarms for important events throughout your day, or even make your own games with Mechanoid. I'm sure you'll come up with all sorts of awesome programs to make, but I'm also going to be making a few custom programs of my own that I'm going to share with you online so we can make them together. So stay tuned for that. See you later.